Being on YouTube this year has just been, it's been awesome. And even though I started my channel back in 2017, it feels like this year was the year that it really kind of started for me because I just started to take things a lot more seriously. So I think some of the biggest changes that I've had on my channel this year have been the fact that I started live streaming. I just bought a cam link and I have never gone live before, so I'm literally... Maybe give me a thumbs up in the chat if you can hear everything I'm right. So one of the things that I never even thought that I would do was start live streaming because I am very much an introvert and so going on live streaming and talking to people who aren't talking back to you verbally is just one of those, it definitely, as an introvert throws you out of your comfort zone, just chatting to people and having to be the center of attention and holding that conversation. Um, obviously you've got people talking back to you in the chat, but it's just different. And so starting live streams was definitely one of the things that I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna do it and see how it goes. And I still feel like I'm, I haven't done a lot, so I definitely did more than, I mean, I did in the previous years, didn't do any in the previous years, but I feel like uh, I want to do more moving forward in, in 2022. And so the other thing that I did as well, which was new to my channel this year, was introducing memberships. And I'm just always blown away by the fact that people really like your channel that much that they're willing to pay monthly to support the channel and support what you do. And I'm so incredibly, incredibly grateful for those people that have um, joined and become members of the channel. It's just, it's incredible. Just, yeah, I'm so, so appreciative of it. So yeah, memberships were something that I, that I introduced this year because a couple of people had asked me if there was any way that they could support the channel um, monetarily. Is that, is that a word? Monetarily? <laughs> um, so I set up a Patreon and then memberships became available to the channel and I thought it'd just be really nice to have everything in one place so if I'm live streaming then members, people can see that, that those people are members and then in comments and chats and stuff like that and just the whole, I guess the whole package of, of YouTube, just having everything on YouTube so that's why I shut down the Patreon page and then opened up the memberships on the YouTube channel so the people that were on Patreon came over to, to YouTube um, but yeah it's just been it's been awesome so just yeah <laughs> why did I put a yellow peg in with yellow flowers so I know that so I think the biggest achievement on YouTube this year has definitely been the growth of the channel and I think that since I actually decided to take everything more seriously and I wanted to be consistent with posting videos and try and have more of a plan it's definitely I've definitely seen a lot of growth um, especially interacting with people I love responding to comments and talking to people I'm more than happy to help people if they ask me a question um, so that's yeah the, definitely the growth of the channel has been been one of my biggest achievements but also I created some one of the things that I've always wanted to do was kind of was start to sell digital products. And so because I got the Pocket 2 at the beginning of the year and I started playing around with it, obviously, and then I was I started using a picture profile called DCine Like and I really liked it. And so I created a lot for myself to use and then I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll sell it as well. Um, so actually selling a digital product online, something that I created has definitely been an achievement because it sold really well and a lot of people have messaged me to say how helpful it is actually having that LUT, um, having those LUTs. So yeah, that's that's also another achievement, I guess, just doing something different that I've been wanting to do for a while. And then the other thing is, I think this was actually the first year. Yeah, this was the first year that I actually started to work with any companies. So companies actually sending me gear to review and test out and that kind of thing. And one of the things that I will always stay true to is only working with companies that I believe in and that I actually like their products. So I won't accept products from companies that I don't think the products are very good or I think the products are kind of mediocre. 
uh, companies like Freewell, for example, I absolutely love their filters. The filters are so high quality that I'm quite happy to work with Freewell anytime, you know, with the filters and whatnot. And then other companies that I've worked with, um, Hollyland, for example, I did a review on the Hollyland, Hollyland Lark 150 awesome wireless microphone system that I use all the time, especially when I'm going out and about and I'm either shooting my videos or I'm shooting a um, documentary or something like that. So the latest documentary that I shot was using the Hollyland Lark 150 for the audio. Um, the audio was shot using the Hollyland Lark 150 for the interview. So working with companies whose products I would actually use myself is always going to be at the top of my list. I'm never going to just accept something just because a company wants to send it to me to check out and review and, and put on my channel. So, um, but yeah, so working with companies is definitely one of the biggest achievements that I, that I had this year as well, because it's something that I've wanted to do. I love reviewing gear, so I can't buy it all. <laughs> so yeah, having come working with companies is awesome. Um, the other company, that I really enjoyed working with this year was Audio. So normally I use Epidemic Sound, which is an awesome platform. I still use it now. I kind of use a mix between Epidemic Sound and Audio, depending on the video and depending on what music I'm looking for. But the music from Audio has just been awesome. I have used it in the majority of my video since collaborating with them. And so, yeah. It's, it's companies like that and of course Film Convert, so I use Film Convert, I've been using Film Convert since I started filming um, and I came across them and still continuing to collaborate with them as well and I just love Film Convert Nitrate, it's just such a great platform for actually colour correcting and colour grading so yeah, in a long winded kind of way working with uh, more companies this year has been has been really great, one of an, a big achievement for me. If you currently set out to shoot footage to make a video and then end up coming back with more footage than you know what to do with... So one of the reasons for the growth of the channel as well was being consistent and sticking to a schedule and planning the videos, batch shooting, batch editing, that kind of thing. And I think that had I not done that, that I would have definitely been all over the place and I wouldn't have put out as much content as I have. and as much content as I would have wanted to. And one of the things I actually did this year was do a video about that, about planning your YouTube videos and, and that kind of thing. So yeah, it's definitely all comes down to planning. So in my calendar, I'd have, this is my shoot day, and this is where I'm gonna edit and, you know, do that kind of thing. And what I also tend to do, because I do also have a day job, is do a lot of the filming during my lunch break and then I'll edit in the evenings. Um, but I'll always try to keep my weekends free because I have a little toddler and obviously my family life and whatnot so I don't want to use up all of my time you know with working and doing YouTube and that and not spend time with my family but this is why I feel like I need to be more organized and just really set dates in the diary for when I'm gonna do this do that release videos and so that actually works out really well for me in keeping consistent and helping to grow the channel this year has definitely been different to previous years because I did start to take things seriously and because I did start planning my videos and taking it seriously thinking of it like a job but not a, not a job in terms of oh I'm going to a 9 to 5, I hate this kind of job, I hate this job but thinking of it more like this is something that's serious that I'm going to take seriously like a business um, and I think that's what's been different between this year and the previous years because like I said I have been doing my YouTube channel now since 2017 and I originally started it because I wanted to have somewhere where I could show my behind the scenes videos of things that I was creating and then I started to get into gear and started enjoying reviewing gear um, but this year was just, yeah, just taking it seriously and just really thinking about the videos I wanted to do. I was going to run but I feel quite heavy at the moment. So maybe I'll do a little bit of a light job. The biggest challenge with YouTube this year, um, even though it's been my best year, was definitely trying to create whilst being pregnant. And not about carrying the gear or anything like that, more so just how I felt in the very early stages of pregnancy. So up to about 18, 19 weeks, I was just feeling horrendous. 
nauseous all day, every day, completely exhausted, just to the point where I didn't want to get out of bed or I didn't want to get off the sofa and it was really, really difficult and, I, and there was definitely a period where I wasn't creating anything um, or I created like one video for over a two month period because I just felt so horrible. And so that for me was kind of the biggest challenge because I started to have some momentum going and then I kind of dropped it. But I don't feel like, I don't feel like I missed out on anything during that time because I just had to listen to my body and just rest and recuperate and whatnot. And um, then I got into my second trimester and I started to feel a lot better. That's when things started to pick up a bit. So yeah, definitely managing just life, general life. Uh, my job, YouTube and being pregnant was definitely, um, definitely a challenge. <laughs> but yeah, I feel great now. So back on track. <laughs> So I wouldn't have been able to send my parcels back because I wouldn't have had the QR code. So for next year, I want to kind of, I want to do more videos, obviously, but different types of videos. So one of the things that I was actually looking at was doing tech reviews. So I love doing camera gear reviews, that kind of thing, but I think it'd be also nice to branch out to doing just general tech reviews as well. Um, I love gadgets, I love tech, so I, I really enjoy doing those kind of videos. And the other thing is also doing more behind the scenes because when I started out doing my channel, I really wanted to show a lot of behind the scenes of how I create certain videos, um, whether it's for YouTube or whether it's for a documentary or a short film or whatever. I wanted to make sure that I was always creating a behind the scenes video because that's how I learned to, to shoot videos, watching a lot of BTS. And so I know there are a lot of people who, like me, like to watch a lot of BTS videos. So I also wanna make sure that I do a lot more of those. And because I've always focused more on documentaries and profile pieces and interviews and that kind of thing, I do want to shoot some short narratives next year. So um, I'm gonna be working with some script writers and trying to put a little, it'd be nice to actually put a little team together of people that um, are always the same people perhaps and we just come together and we create some shorts and, and do that kind of thing so yeah definitely more shorts more BTS and um, maybe playing around with doing videos in a different kind of way so yeah de think, thinking about that still thinking about that at the moment and the other thing that would be quite nice as well would be to add another level to the memberships because I wasn't able to do that much for this this year so I've just got one level to the memberships where we some of the members will join me on a video call those that can can join on a video call so every month we have a video call and we just chat about anything and everything um, not necessarily gear related or tech related just anything really and I really love those calls because it's just really nice to interact with people who are so fond of your channel and who support the channel so yeah focusing on memberships and trying to create some other membership perks for different levels as well is something that I'm going to focus on next year but overall being on YouTube is just been the best thing that I did and when I originally started it back in 2017 I was definitely on the fence about whether or not to do this and I'm just so glad I did because up until now it's just been an amazing journey and my channel is still very small, I can appreciate it's still very small but I'm just really looking forward to stuff that's coming up and just seeing where everything goes really so yeah this year has definitely been awesome and has really got me pumped for next year.